Welcome back to the channel. In the last video I showed how I go about applying a background. This time I will move on to what I consider to be one of the most important parts, the eyes, as these help to give the picture life. I first use a blunt 4B pencil to build some dark tone around the eyes. Then using the same pencil, I then move on to the pupils. A blending stump is used between layers so as to prevent the grain of the paper from showing through. The stump is also used to add some shading. I generally work on both eyes together as I feel I get a more consistent look and both eyes build up together. After a few layers, 9B is applied as this will add the last bit of contrast. Now although the Caran Dash 9B is incredibly dark, it is not necessarily the easiest of pencils to blend. So the best way I've found to do this is to use the 4B back over the edges, and this will blend it out creating a smoother transition. For the fine striations that are in the eye, I now switch to a B pencil. I generally use most of my pencils blunt, but for this the B pencil has been sharpened to a point, as this will help to give a slightly harder edge. If I need to re-establish any highlights, this can simply be done with a needle and a razor. The eyes are not fully finished at this point, as I will generally make slight alterations to as I build up the rest of the picture. The next thing to do is to start to add the fur, and that is what I will cover in the next video. This is a time consuming process, but I hope that you can see the difference that it makes. And I always feel that this is where the picture really starts to come to life. So thank you for watching and I will see you next time.